Hello everyone and welcome back to Europa Universalist 4. I am Lord Forwind, here playing of course as the Qing of China. So we are rebuilding, we just beat up the Japanese, and I've been stabilizing China for the last, really last two episodes, but um, last three episodes to be more accurate. But it's time now to actually get an institution, despite um, being in debt. And once we get the institution done, then we will be pushing for the next institution, Global Trade, which luckily for us seems to be spreading a bit faster than did the printing press. So, considering the length of time it has been out, it's spread quite a distance. So let's embrace the printing press. Pause. Cool. Shoot. I think I just lost tech points. Probably did. I didn't realize I was that close to taking over a month. Great. Oh well. I lost the 200 some odd uh, monarch points. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to quickly take enough money to pop this next institution. There we go. We got an extra merchant. And now can actually not only catch up in tech, but get another idea group. Okay, and then we should only get one there. 14, 15, 16. Okay, we've eliminated our uh, unbalanced research. We are vaguely stable. We've got defensive exploration, admin ideas. Next idea probably should be probably influence. Reduced aggressive expansion. I mean, we are going to be the Ming, so... Quantity, maybe? Actually, no, we need the money, so we should probably go economic. I mean, yeah, I guess economic would be the way to go. I mean, I could go espionage if I really wanted the rooting out of corruption, but I don't think that's worth going down an entire tree to get one thing. Um, religious ideas, not worth it. Innovative, not worth it. Expansion, not worth it. Humanist, not worth it. Maritime, not worth it. Trade, mm, not worth it. Diplo, no. Aristocratic, mm. Quality, uh, possibly. Quantity would be nice, but the land maintenance we also get from economic for right now. Yeah, I'm going to go economic for the moment. Um... Economic tech is dirt cheap. Look at that. 229 power to actually get another tech. We're actually going to be getting several techs before we get another uh, idea. Unless, of course, I want that 10% tax modifier first. Yeah. We'll see. Let's pay off one of these smaller loans. And we are currently, what, going to be like 4,000, 5,000 in debt? 4,500. Wasn't far off. Uh, we will get cheaper idea at the cost of harmony, but considering we have no harmony anyway, I'm not too worried. Not worried at all. Our projection is solid. We can attack the Ashikaga in four years. We still have no navy. I don't think we really need one to beat them up. We still got, what, another at least another war for the Japanese peninsula. Invading Japan is going to be very tiresome. I know what's going on over here. The Orate are clearly in some trouble. You know what? I actually have an opportunity now if I want to attack the Orate Horde. Uh, we'll see. Um, policy changes in order. Uh, assign two different trade people. I could probably threaten these guys for that province. Yep. Very good. Very good. Get that. That gets us a little bit closer to Mandate of Heaven, right? Yep. Once we take out the Ming, we'll get Mandate of Heaven done. Then we'll get a mission to take more of Korea and take out the Dai Viat. Who are currently dead, so that's not actually a problem. Uh, Ava likes us, but Ayut Thaha doesn't. Hmm. 
We'll stay peaceful for now. We're too we have to be a little bit too concerned with internal problems. I wanna expand outside. There we go. Once we catch up in tech, then I think we could make a play for Mandate of Heaven if we wanted to. I could also go after Mongolia, which might actually be a better starting target than the Orate Horde. Because I can take out Mongolia in, what, a single war? Almost. Um, we'll take the Prestige. There we go. More Prestige for us. We should have a tank coming soon? Yeah. Cost went up because I didn't take it all at once. If I had taken it all at once without unpausing it, I've gotten the uh, neighbor ahead of time bonus even on a tech that was ahead of the neighbors. Amazing what you can do without let, if you don't let the game tick forward most of the time. You can keep your Republican rulers for ages longer. You can do a lot. Kind of fun. Um, I do. Two and a half months, or two and a half points, roughly. Okay, seven hundred. Okay. Um, raise you up again. Wondering if I could afford to put any of these guys to drilling now. I actually can. Okay, well we will drill then does decrease the rate at which we're paying off loans. On the other hand, we still could use army professionalism, especially if we're going to try and conquer a lot more of the world. Which I'm thinking is worth trying to do. That is a very good air, 552. Probably will not live to see the throne, though. Oh, that's kind of annoying. I can apparently put claims on mainland Japan without realizing it. Gotta keep an eye on that. Next tech, 400. So next tech we can actually probably uh, take an idea. Should boost our income a fair amount. I'm going to throw in a uh, temple or two. Plus 0.5 tax on Beijing is... Really good. Really good. Western Korea. We don't own all of Western Korea yet, do we? Nope. Missing one province there. There we go. If we get the... If we attack... Korea. Buryata is a thing? Oh wow, Buryata is back, everyone. I don't know how they managed to pull off that, but they're alive again. Huh. Bizarre. Anyhow, we can now attack Mongolia while still having forts uh, raised, and we should still be making money. So let's beat up Mongolia, who is still sadly stuck as a nomadic horde. I sympathize with them. Poor guys. Oh well. They haven't even bothered to reform their government, despite having the ability to do so. Because they have the admin uh, ideas done. Oh well. That's annoying. I didn't want to have corruption to grow anymore. Oh well, okay. Uh, take the uh, point hit, I guess. Our ideas should be uh, cheaper than normal, thanks to uh, that Buddhist group we integrated. Our production should even be higher thanks to them, too, yeah. I don't entirely understand why harmonizing with a specific Buddhist group boosts production. For some reason, that kind of feels like an arbitrary uh, 
Maybe this Buddhist group, you get production out of it. But maybe there's some historical meaning behind it. Or real life meaning. I don't know. Okay, we're going to occupy that. We've occupied that. I've got to send an army over to beat up Briyata, though, correct? Yes. Okay, we'll send you over there. You know what? I might actually have another uh, accepted culture. I do. How lovely. A tiny little income boost. Worth it, I guess. I could have probably actually gone for the 7% one now that I think about it. It would have been more useful. Nope. I don't want tributary states really that much. Once I snag Mandate of Heaven, I'll have to worry about it. But until then, try not to have to deal with it. 350 military power, and we'll blow 50 military power. Isn't that convenient? And we will take the idea. There we go. Tax modifier should be... Actually not that large. Oh. Huh. Okay. That's a... I was expecting it to have a little bit bigger of an impact. Just offhand. Um, what are the Buryat ideas? <laughs> Nothing really good. Other than attrition for enemies. Which I guess isn't the worst. I'm just wondering if it would be worth, um, rather than conquering them, vassalizing them, and starting to f and trying to feed them some of Russia's lands in the event of a Mandate of Heaven. I could afford to. It's not like I... And lacking in uh, Diplo slots. Oh, they won't accept yet. Fair enough. March out and try and kill off more of your troops then. One more month. And they should... Uh, actually, another month. There we go. Now they should want peace. Buryat will join our empire, and we will clean up Mongolia. Yeah. And apparently renew several bank loans. Oh, we actually can't take it all. Okay. They're not worth really trying to keep alive, so I don't really... They would not be a very good vassal, seeing as they're still stuck as a nomadic horde. If they got away from being a nomadic horde, they might be useful, but... In the meantime, we will take their land, we'll raise autonomy. We will mothball forts, and we will recall our armies to relative safety. In preparation for a war with the Ashikaga. Apparently the Ashikaga just destroyed the Tokugawa in the last war. Oh. Huh. That's not good. Actually, that is very good, because the Tokugawa are, uh, have much better ideas than the Ashikaga do. Uh, we'll pay off some of their debt. We can afford the loss of a little bit of money now. Go. And Japan has no claims or rights to any of that land. They shouldn't want it anyway. We will declare the same war we did last time. And then we will see where we are. We outnumber them, mainly due to cavalry, which I do have to fix soon. Our cavalry is not what you'd call in a. We have too many cavalry units. Banner Calvary. Age of Banners has arrived. We also need to start getting some Absolutism. How high can we get? We can get up to 91. 
And then we'd have to hit court and country. I don't know if uh, being uh, Emperor of China actually gives you any absolutism. Seems like something I should know, but I don't. I'm also going to need to start constructing a navy. Okay, let's throw down shipyard there, there, and... Ooh, darn, I didn't mean to click on that. Shoot, we lost harmonization progress. Not good. Not good at all. Hey, Beriat is here, though. So at least they don't hold it against me too much. They're mad at me, of course. But... Not the worst case. I can also go after the Orate at the end of this war. Cancel that for the moment. Of course, I'm still spying on the Ottomans for that free uh, uh, discounted Monarch tech points stuff. Spy network. That spying can be really powerful if you're far behind. It works wonders if you're a, uh, a New World civilization that for some reason is not getting killed by the Europeans. Let's see. You still... Oh, no, we do not want unconditional peace. They will not accept peace. Yet. Okay, we will wait. Like a mountain. We will sit and we will wait until Japan agrees to give me land. Can I actually get that? Ah, I actually could get that province. Get that one? No, that would be a fort, wouldn't it? The uh, Tokugawa are, in fact, independent. I could build a fort, uh, naval force. I could invade these guys. Which would actually be a very good move. Won't be able to fabricate a Actually, I can fabricate a claim on those guys. Cool. General died. We'll raise you another one. Unfortunately, I think that was my level 3 general, wasn't it? Uh, let's raise war taxes, actually. If we're going to be stuck sitting here waiting for Japan to make peace, we might as well be making money out of it. Oh, yeah, I finished colonizing, didn't I? We have another merchant we have to send out. I will do that once I do this. Get some more money. Pay off a loan. Where would be a good spot for you, merchant? There, or actually, no, here would be good, probably. Try and steer a little bit more money up my direction. Fine. Okay, I, I'll take it. Quite increase in income. Overall, just vaguely stable. Um, your capital. Is that your capital? Ijin. Um, You might actually be another country consider worth vassalizing, right? All right. Ooh. You would be a much better vassal than Buryata. Or yeah, is going to be dirt cheap to annex when it time comes through development. The Ming have embraced global trade. Good for the Ming. Good for the Ming. What do the Ashikaga think about this? Military strength, length of war, besieged provinces. Okay. Let's raise a couple infantry units and a couple cannon while we wait. But four each. Oops. Oh. That. And we'll raise two cannon for each army. That should be hopefully enough that we don't end up accidentally triggering, you know, the insufficient support penalty we've been getting pretty much every battle. As good as our cavalry is, 
That's not the best thing that happened to you. Be actually be viable to take uh, cavalry combat ability from uh, aristocratic or even quality. Back those nicely. I've got a lot more cannon than I do. Probably raise more cannon, really. Not like I'm not going to use the cannon. Cannon is probably the single most useful type of unit. And then I need to build some trade ships at some point, but I think I need to invade Japan first. So let's get a claim on one of Tokugawa's provinces. But who else do I border that I'm not allied to? Ava. Really Ava. And Ava is allied to Malacca, Ayutthaha. Don't really have any allies. They might be a viable target for an expansion. Just snag that first. That's a lot. And while our cannons are ending, I guess we'll end this here. So uh, we're going to fight Japan, hopefully take some uh, one of their islands up here. And uh, we'll prep for another war with the Arate Horde. Then we'll prep for a war probably with Ayutthaha. And then we'll see what we're going to do about the Ming and probably kill the Mongolian in 12 years when they're killable. So uh, I guess that'll be it for me. And uh, I'll uh, see you guys all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.